I'm so thankful that Jesus has the power to save and the power to forgive. And it's a continual thing. He invites us to come before his throne continually. I love that. Um, And he can remove our sins as far as the east is from the west and refuses to remember our mistakes against us anymore. I really love that. There's a verse in Isaiah that I should have looked up before I started that says we weary him with our sins, with remembering our mistakes. He wants to go on with it. He doesn't want to spend time remembering our sins against us. He loves to wipe that slate clean, so he invites us to confess our faults, confess our sins, so that he can forgive and forget. Wow. I mean, that's what we need to do for each other, too. Just simply refusing to consider or think about it anymore. That's how we can live free and keep our minds open for better things and good things to come. Ah. He says, this is the covenant I will make with them, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds I will write them, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Hebrews 10, 16 and 17, and 22 and 25, through 25. So then, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to cheer on, to provoke, and to love, and to good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting and cheering one another on, and so much the more as we see the day approaching. Amen.